the moment we step onto the stage, knowing that there's an audience there and knowing that we have the power to tell a story and to impact them in a positive way. It uh, brings curriculum to life for students. They might act out the Civil War Underground Railroad or nouns and verbs or um, character or bullying situations. Being able to accomplish goals, it gives self-confidence. It, it gives them a reason to come to school. That's why we need to continue teaching all of the arts in our public schools. Funny, today we did a show of um, The Secret Life of Girls, which is a play about teen bullying and girl bullying and cyber bullying. And after the show, we do a question and answer session with the audience, which I just participate in as kind of a side moderator, but we bring in an expert in the field. The Family Place um, has been providing a lot of moderators, and the Family Place does uh, domestic violence um, prevention work, and they do a lot of bullying work in the schools because domestic violence is a form of bullying. So they have a wonderful program and so one of their counselors was here today leading the talk back and you know this young man just said the play that he just saw is his life every day. And you know after the show I saw her talking with some of the students sort of to the side quietly and the fact that we can provide the opportunity for a young person to see their story on the stage and then provide opportunities for hope and help right there in the same building. Um, to me, that's why we do what we do. Not necessarily that kiddo who's so talented, who does so well. I mean, that's wonderful. But it's the child who nobody knows it has sort of an inclination to, to get up and take on a character. And, and I was um, thinking yesterday about years ago at a school, we, we were doing the Rough Face Girl, which is a, a Native American tale. And the principal said to me at the end of the show, the girl who was playing the rough-faced girl, sort of a Cinderella story, she said, we had no idea that she could even get up on a stage and say these words and do this part. And it was not an elaborate show by any means, but the fact that this child had that opportunity to get up there in front of her peers and take on a character and um, really show that sometimes you're not who everybody thinks you are. And... This was, a, this was a principal who's a very intuitive person who I think probably knows most of her students very well. But even for her, she, could, she knew the value of theater and can see how great it was to provide that opportunity. That's what it's all about to me. I think the most proud moments are those times in the classroom where, you know, that kid who hasn't found a niche finds a place, finds his, his love and his passion, for the arts or for anything else that we do because we do so many different things. It's not just acting. And they find their place and they find their voice when they're in our classrooms and those make the proudest moments. Students, like I said before, who haven't been particularly successful in their other classrooms suddenly find that success in a theater classroom. Uh, for example, uh, we teach a lot of math when we teach technical theater or set design or anything like that. And students who might not have been as successful in their math class because you just say math and they zone out, like I did, but they see a practicality to it in theater when they're working on their designs and suddenly it makes sense to them and they become successful. Uh, we teach literature, we teach history, we teach uh, grammar, we uh, teach culture. Uh, all of those activities seem to culminate in the theater classroom and when they do, the student finds the reason for it all. And that reason is what gives him that passion and that love. Theater teaches so many things. Um, it teaches teamwork. It teaches self, you know, self-fulfillment, self, you know, self, -fulfillment, self um, I'm trying to think of the word, being able to accomplish goals. 
it gives self-confidence. It um, teaches so many things that you can use no matter what your major is. If you're going to be an educator, if you're going to be a business major, if you're going to work for a website, if you're going to be a writer, there's so many things that the theater can teach you. You learn how to interact with people, you learn how to interpret subtext, you learn how to communicate, and communication is the most important skill anybody can have, no matter what they are studying in school. Theatrical components are found everywhere, and if you're going to be an architect, you've still got to have your theatrical aesthetics in presenting your design to, uh, to a board. If you're going to be public speaking, you've got to have the theatrics to present and keep an audience's attention. But like I said, no matter what you do, theater's always there, and what's important about that is we've got to make sure that is incorporated into the classroom across all curriculum levels. And when we're able to do that, we're able to bring the kids to a new level of learning and understanding. It's totally critical for everyone to have opportunity to express themselves. And some people can do it on a sports field, and some people can do it playing the piano or playing on a computer. But for a lot of people, taking on a character or watching someone take on a character, seeing your story told or being being in a play or in a scene, it, it can be life-changing. I would hate to think that we are raising a generation that's not going to know what the arts is all about. That would be a really, really sad moment in our society. Unfortunately, we live in, a, uh, in an objective, quantifiable society where we really do look for numbers and results that can be, uh, as I mentioned, objectively identified. And the beauty of a creative program and a theatrically based program is that it is subjective, that you can find effectiveness and um, relevance in so many different places according to your own opinions. But as artists, as creative people, uh, as a creative community, we need to come together and help um, each other show quantifiable results without um, strapping down our creativity and saying that creativity comes in just one form. So I think the more we're able to show relevance, the more we're going to be able to stay alive and thriving in the community. We feel like we can make the case for the importance of this work because we've done it for so long and, and we can show a good track record. But you know, sometimes people who might want to fund a program want very tangible results. Um, does the child read better by being in this program? I don't know. The child reads better being in a program, but I think it helps the overall child to do better in school. Um, those challenges, you know, have been there and will be there. There are two big struggles. One is budget and uh, all of the school districts are trying to find ways to cut their budgets and uh, although most school districts don't give a lot of money to a theater program because they generate revenue by their ticket sales, um, but still a lot of theater classes may be a smaller number of students and so a lot of school districts are looking to cut some of those smaller numbered classes down or cut them out completely. Um, we've seen some of that happen even here in Plano. Something that I really appreciate about my president and about my dean and um, other administrators in the college is that they understand the value that a program has to a school. They appreciate that a college should have a theater program. It makes it a college. It's just like every college has a basketball team or a soccer team or some kind of athletic sport that they can rally behind and enjoy. Um, it provides culture. And there's so many with budget cuts and everything that's been happening um, all over the country. The arts are cut. And the, the thing is arts make people smarter. It's proven fact. Children and young adults who study the arts are smarter. And it's because they can think critically, they can think outside the box, they can do, um, they're not afraid, they can communicate their ideas to others, they can work in teams. Um, <clears throat> and that make, just makes them smarter. They score higher on tests, they, um, they are most likely to participate in an after school activity, they are more likely to finish school, they are um, more likely to succeed in anything in school academic wise if they participate in theater if they are um, provided with a creative outlet and theater and music and art all those things incorporated not just theater but it's it's proof fact
One of the great things about being involved with Destination Imagination is it is a worldwide competitive creative problem solving competition that involves theatrical performance in all capacities. Um, they focus on six main challenges each year which function as uh, Olympic style events which require kids to focus on things from mechanical engineering, science, theatrical performance, improvisational performance, um, architectural structural engineering and community service. And what's awesome about this is, is those are all the main facets of curriculum that we find in the classroom today uh, but yet we managed to incorporate performance and theater into every one of those. So it really shows how the theatrical components are synonymous with every walk of uh, education. The world has changed so much in these even just past few years with how quick people can get things. You know, you want to see a show, you can bang. You know, it's on Netflix or it's on your DVR. You can get it on the internet or, you know, so fast you can get things. I, I still hope and pray that parents and teachers will understand the importance of getting in the car, getting on the bus and coming to the live theater. Letting your kids be creative, it's so important to let them play and get dirty and um, build things and paint things and um, have their own puppet shows in the house and just really appreciate what they do um, because that will help them when they get older to do the same thing, to be able to get up in front of a crowd and speak and to get up in front of people and be able to hold a conversation. Whether we're going to do it professionally or whether it's just a hobby, Art is such an important part of our lives. To, to take on characters, to listen to music, to move, it's just good for the soul.